As Hayden Howard is on the mound, will try to finish this off. Top of the order, Parker Lamb, Charlie Jorgen, Travis Watkins for East Carolina. The Oklahoma State Cowboys are in, and another SEC host goes two and out. Called strike to Parker Lamb, who is one for three. Well, we got to say congratulations to the Pirates and Cliff Godwin for getting here. Tremendous run. One strike pitch. It's 0-2 on Lamb. And they did get a Super Regional win for the first time in the history of the program. They pushed this Red Raider team to the brink yesterday. They had 13 innings, and Tech was able to outlast East Carolina. 3-1 to one in 13. Lamb fights it off. East Carolina, 38-win season. They finished second in the American Conference. Crowd didn't like the call. But a tremendous season for Cliff Godwin and the East Carolina Pirates. Looks like it's coming to an end here in Lubbock, Texas today. So much going on. You mentioned it. The agony of the Pirates understanding that they were one game away from going to Omaha. 2-2. Two -two. Skied right side. Eric Gutierrez near the bag at first base. Settles under it. We have one out tonight. And then Texas Tech understanding they're two outs away from the dog pile, knowing that they're heading back to Omaha. Charlie Jorgen is 0 for 3. Nobody has left. Everybody here at Griffin Park wants to see a celebration. You know somebody at a local local bar is getting ready to buy rounds, huh? <laughs> Just one? Just one local bar? It's 0-2. And then the wife says, what was this? What was this $500 bill on a Sunday? Where'd you go? But, honey... <laughs> The Red Raiders. The 2 And a comebacker up the ladder. Hayden Howard fields it. There's two away. Here they come. Nobody's sitting here. Even the left field bleachers, Roxy. It's got to be like 7 million degrees. <laughs> not now, it's not. Two outs, nobody on. Travis Watkins, 0 for 2 with a walk. That's ball one. And Watkins has had an outstanding postseason. With his Red Raider dugout, they are ready to erupt onto the field. And these fans are ready to celebrate. Everyone standing. Watkins, a hard grounder, knocked down by Michael Davis, on to first. And the Texas Tech Red Raiders for the second time in three years and the second time in program history are headed to the College World Series. Well, congratulations to Tim Tadlock, his whole staff, and the Red Raider team and fans. And also, Cliff Godwin and the East Carolina Pirates pushed these Red Raiders yesterday, all day yesterday, to the brink of elimination. In a matter of 24 hours, the Red Raiders back on their way to Omaha for the second time, Roxy. Eric Sidlanning, the freshman with seven shutout innings, gets the win, sets the tone, and the offensive explosion for 11 runs on 14 hits. The Texas Tech Red Raiders are 46 and 18, and the Big 12 champs, they're not done. They're on to Omaha. Get a look at the reaction from the fans from the left field 
And how about Howard on the mound? He said, let's go. And, and how about the senior, Gutierrez? Kind of fitting that he catches the last out in his last game in this ballpark. And they pour out of the dugout and celebrate. Here on the field at Rip Griffin Park. And the Texas Tech Red Raiders become the second Big 12 team to advance to Omaha. And now a tradition. And the party and celebration will go on into the night as Texas Tech wins the Lubbock Super Regional. And they advance to the College World Series for the second time in three years and for the second time in Tech history. They're going to Omaha. They'll await the winner at Texas A&M. And TCU is Erickson Lanning, Hayden Howard combined on a two-hit shutout. And the offense just kept putting up runs all day. And this was a Texas Tech party from the outset. No, it was. And, and listen, we talked about the offense of Texas Tech, one of the most consistent teams from start to finish the whole season, the number five seed. And boy, they did not let their, these Texas Tech fans down. Coming up next here on ESPNU 30 for 30, Brian and the Bonds. For my partner, Wes Clements, and our terrific ESPN crew, Roxy Bernstein, saying so long from Lubbock, where the Texas Tech Red Raiders are moving on to Omaha and the College World Series. Again, the final, Texas Tech 11, East Carolina nothing. So long from Lubbock.